So how we doing guys and welcome it's kraken here and we've got just one question for you can a nerd survive the zombie apocalypse how we doing guys welcome yes i've been one busy little bee over the night time well i haven't been the workbench has been and oh there we go oh, i did go straight into my inventory i was a bit worried then that's good to know so the smg turret was being made on the workbench contact grenades they've been there since last week anyway electric fence post we've got the generator and we've got loads of these bullet casings and bullet tips we haven't got many of those at the moment they're still being made in the forge over here and they've been going like the clappers overnight now oh we've got some zombies downstairs we need an engine we've only got the one engine at the moment okay how are we looking for cement 51 so we've got two and a half hours here we've got our nail gun now which is really good news really really good news because we need to get oh, that was the gunpowder we made last night we need to get back over to the hall base i know we've been having to do it all this week but tomorrow is the horde and i don't want to leave anything to chance because at the moment we don't have a lot set up over there in terms of traps now we do have some people kicking off downstairs uh one two three we'll take those to fill up this smg turret um food what have we got here we've got sham chowder here let's take one of those we've got anything yet yeah, take that for some efficient digestion get the morning started properly in fact that knife can stay in there so first of all we're going to jump over there quickly so get ready for that time lapse just to get that over and done with let's see who we've got down here hello come on get yourself minty fresh the best way to start any morning you might notice i've re upgraded these to reinforced concrete i came over here and I hadn't looked at it for a while, and this middle block here was it was down to like 20 hit points. I don't know if that would have collapsed the whole base. So um, we need to get the garage doors on here, get it blocked up. We need to spend some time on the base. We might do that tomorrow. Might do that tomorrow. Right. To the hall base. So let's get crack.
bugger. Well, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. I hope that wasn't too painful for you. We've got a few blocks left on the corners to do. I think there's one on each of these corners. And we've got two here to do. So we do need to just jump down here. What I think I might do is put the generator down here. So that means if I grab my rebar frames, get them back to a normal square shape and build myself a little column because we can use this just for storage down here uh ladders again oh, i think we need oh yeah why not we can burn it up in the forge later there we go um where are we one two three yeah three of those to be honest we could put it down lower because it ain't it isn't really going to matter, but just in case they do, for some unknown reason, try and break down there. Uh, scrap that, and we need to make one more hatch. Perfect. Put that in there. Now, I've had to put the hatch the wrong, the wrong way around. In the roof. Because I was a bit worried that I was going to fall off it. So I've put it that way around, which is the wrong way you would normally open a hatch if you were the one going out of it, but it will just stop me from walking off the side of the building. Got these corners bit, bits done over here, and as rightly pointed out, I'd messed up the corners here. So they have actually got different angles, but they meet up and look all nice. And I'd upgraded these just to make it a little bit stronger so we're pretty much there we've got to get the turret up here now I'm a little bit worried that we might have the same issue as last time that the turrets work a lot better when they're much much further back like this one over here so I'm a little bit concerned that it might not do a lot but I don't think the vultures are going to be able to get to us anyway so we're going to put him down we're not going to set up all the electrics we're going to set that up tomorrow but we'll put you there anyway generator will just leave in a chest now i need to go and get my oh hello need to get my storage quickly which is over in this one over here I need to remember to split everything up nicely just in case uh where are they Ah, there they are. Could hardly see them there. Got myself all concerned then. So this will be our backup base. So if everything goes wrong, that will be the base we're coming back up on. These are a lot better than the chests I was using because they have exactly the same storage, but they have a lot more hit points. So we're going to put these in here. And you can paint these, I believe, as well. Um, so it looks like the hinges are the ones on the top. There we go. So we'll just put them in there and we're just going to whack. In fact, we'll do the fence post tomorrow. So we'll put all of you in there. That needs to come back down to me. Put your rebarb in there. The auger is going to go on my bike. That's going up there. And the rest of this is going to stay like that. Right. There we go. So we'll have one of these for armour and bullets and all that kind of stuff, and one for medical and building supplies. But yeah, we're about there. It's not bad going at all, is it? We can upgrade these to iron or steel later on, but that's not a, not a big, big deal. So finally, I don't think we're going to get this pit done by tomorrow. I honestly don't. Because we need to go and do some raiding. We need to get some more cool stuff. Now... We haven't been down here for a while and seen these two traders, but I don't seem to have a tier three all the way over there. I don't seem to have much going on down here. But we do have this one over here, but we know it's the closed storm. We have already been through Old Savage Garden a few times. We've got the shooting range there. We've got the football field there. We've got a tier three there. Let's go down and see these traders, because one of these... Oh, that's opening a trader route 
So we'll get some experience for doing that anyway. Let's go and see our trader friend down here and see, see what jobs he's got for us. Now, one thing I did forget is to show you guys the game stage. We've got a nice little bear over there as well. Game stage is 108. Let's edit that on the board. So we've gone from 104 to 108. The experience you get from upgrading is really good. And yes, I could make the learning elixir and get even more xp that way but to be honest i'm not overly that first right just make sure he's loaded yes he is right let's see the are you gonna hit a bear i don't know if you are i'm sure you would maybe if i start attacking him come on are you gonna start shooting him yeah you are Bloody hell. Christ. He was a feisty one. Feisty one. But let's get ourselves some mix. We got our new machete now as well. We got that from the trader. Lovely jubbly. We got some testosterone as well. We always like to try and keep the meek going if we can. Let's gas you up because we grabbed the gas for the auger. And we are just going around the corner to the trader. Hello, Loza. We've got a welcoming committee there. Well, fancy seeing you guys here. Cool, we haven't been down here for a hot minute. Right, let's get our revolver that I always forget about. Take the sugar butts just in case. And we'll take some monies as well. Right, let's um, close that door. What have you got? In your vending machine hackers definitely get the nerd tax up get the jailbreakers oh bother it we've got loads of money we got loads of money we're rich we are rich you need hey bob so we did get a job off you so it's the other one we didn't get a job off okay that's fine that's cool now i don't have anything to sell to you what did i have up here i'm missing something because the raw meat has gone up there Maybe that should have just been set to eight. Okay. What have you got? Got some gunpowder? Buy that. Right, you have an absolutely bugger all Y'all come back now. For sale. Which is um which is a bit of a shame. So we're gonna have to go to the other trade and we get some XP for that anyway, for being on our being part of my trade route. Um yeah, in fact we'll put all of those over there. We'll keep the revolver on us for a second and set you back down to eight. Right. To the next trader. Right. Let's check your vending machine. Red tea. I'd like to buy that because I can't actually make it yet. Sugar butts. And we'll buy... Oh, he's got jailbreakers there as well. Perfect. Okay, so we're starting to build up these jailbreakers now. So I might start keeping them on my hotbar as down. well. Now we're struggling. It we're not getting any eye day. candy, Thank you. which is you um, which is really annoying because we're not getting good stuff in the main loot at the moment. Right, so we got the free XP, even though we already knew you existed. You say I have a job. So what job have I got from you? I wish it told you when you checked the old thingy midjiggy. When you check the jobs, right, we're going to buy some sand. Sand we always need. Uh, you've got oil shell, we can get that easy enough. Right, you've actually got some lockpicks. I'll see if there's anything else, because I might pop an eye, uh, the sugar butts. For that, you've got a bit of gunpowder there, only a little bit though. He's got a sniper book, but... Don't really need that. Right, okay, so... If we're going to run with the jailbreakers on our hotbar like that, we should be able to not need as many. So we'll just buy four of those and we'll buy a bit of that gunpowder. Right, let's just quickly Look see. Bad, stranger. Thank you very much, Joel. Right, does it tell me? I'm pretty sure it doesn't. No, it doesn't tell me which one these are from. So we've got a... Tier 4, 1 kilometer from here, we got a tier 3, 900. Now, I imagine that's the one over here, isn't it? Yeah. 
I have no idea where your other one is. Oh my god, it's all the way down there. So it's in a new town, okay. Well, I think tier 3 is going to be the way to go because it is already nearly 2 o'clock. And it's been a busy week, so let's go and head off to that tier 3 just around the corner. And hope there's one that we haven't already done because that would be very, very annoying. Gonna do that hospital at some point. We've done the cracker book down here already, which was all good. Now, if you guys didn't know, we're having a subscriber live stream this Sunday, two days time from when you see this video. So that's gonna be this Sunday. So we've got a load of the subscribers all coming and playing. Oh, biker boy, how you doing? So that's going to be really good fun. That's going to be starting o'clock at 6 o'clock GMT. If you ever want to get involved with the live streams that we do with all the subscribers, then make sure you head over to our Discord. The link is in the description down below. And that's where we put out when we're going to be doing one. And this time it's very, very exciting because we have a brand new server. I say a brand, well, it is a brand new server to us because we've never played on a server before. So we've actually got a server set up now with a dedicated world and we're going to let the subscribers... Oh, by the looks of it, we've already done this. Because there's no grass or anything on the outside. Oh, what an absolute pain. These traders are starting to get on my tits. I really hope they sort this out for Alpha 20. What have we got around here, though? Hungry Harrows, that's the tier 4 that we did just the other day, I'm pretty sure, it looks like it. Popping Pills, that one's terrible. Oh, we've got a small cracker book here, like a western cracker book, and then we're going to do this little building in here. So let's put some stuff away. So yeah, we are going to be playing on a server this time, which will be good, good fun. Right, we need to set you back to 9... Oh, Oh, bugger off, will you? Get your balls minty fresh. Come on. Right, that sorted you out. Where's the rest of my jailbreakers? Let's start carrying those on us. Right. Interesting. Oh, so this isn't the western one. This is the next size up. Okay. Well, this could be fun. Let's clear it out before we go... Oh, this is that ren rendement style one, isn't it? Yeah. Loads of different entrances in and out. Look there. I don't know if there's actually any zombies in this place. Anyone in here? Come out and show yourselves if you are. Okay, well, we're always up for some free knowledge. Some more corn seeds there. We can actually make those now. I can definitely plant those up. Ooh, a treasure map. That could be fun. Hopefully, you're not too far away. Uh, not a million miles away. Right, that might be the way we're finishing the day. Up there. Right. Lucky Luda goggles on. Not that they make a big difference when it comes to bookshelves. Let's see what we've got. Well, I think that was it. One book. So for a bookstore, you don't have a lot. Right, okay. Well, we'll gas you up with the free gas that we found. We're just going to read you, scrap you up. Oh, we got a baked potato recipe here as well. Right, okay. Let's lob you all in there. And we're going to wear those. Right. Now, we're not going to go through and dig up all the graves here. It's a good thing to do at the beginning of the game. Go through and you can dig these graves up and get yourself some half alright stuff, but we're not going to go around and do that. We haven't, we haven't got time for that kind of malarkey. You got anybody in here? Wakey, wakey, boys. There you go. Come on down. Hello. Got to remember that they're all sprinting now. Oh, and you're feral as well. Come on, Homer. <laughs> I 
I like the way that um, Mr. T here gives off green smoke as well. There we go. More footsteps over there. Right, okay. Now I think there might be some loot up here, so let's have a quick little check. Oh yeah, there's an ammo pile. There we go. Lovely jubbly. Right. And then we have the catacombs down here. Oh my god, I was there looking around for you. Jesus, what are you doing? Let he hit me like that. Right. Got to remember this now. That these guys are getting pretty damn strong. Right, let's get some ammo inside you. 111. We do have a, scare, a spare skill point as well. Now, can we... We've got a vulture somewhere. He's probably going to come down here and peck me to death. And you're a biker. I don't like that at all. Hopefully that's woken a load of you up. Got the vulture out here kicking right off. Didn't think I could shoot, good did ya? Haha. -ha. Right, so is it just you we woke up? How bloody fat? Whoa, there's another vote, vulture. Uh, I can't remember. Do we have that book that if we raid coffins we got a chance of finding some cool stuff? Don't know now. I can't remember. Cannot remember. The lead. Now you come. Ugh. You clumsy sod. You know what happens to clumsy people. You get the old minty treatment. Oh, look at you, little old pincer movement. That's why we got two of us. That flurry of blows is really starting to help. Really starting to help. Oh, well done, Mr. T. Sorted him right out. Woken somebody else out? So, what a bloody vulture. Nothing in that one. I can hear somebody, and that makes me worried. There we go. In there. Is they've changed this. There used to be a room down here. You sod. I reckon these are one of the hardest zombies in the game. Come on. Bloody hell. You take a bit of bloody shocking you do. But I hope they haven't taken the main loot out of here. Ah oh, no, it's down here. Okay, maybe I just got my bearings a bit messed up. Messed up. Really struggling to speak this morning. Right, here we go. Yeah, see the green smoke? That's cool. There we go, I think we've done it. 
Any more for any more? Nobody hiding in that one, so we've got ourselves a safe up there. Are you locked? No, you're not locked. See, it bugs me taking a jailbreaker for one freaking safe. Oh. Right, let's get this opened up. Right, there we go. There we go. I've taken the jailbreakers, so we know we're going to be able to do this and not lose any of those lockpicks because they're bloody expensive. Lucky Luda goggles are on. So you're not worth it. You're not worth the price of a lockpick for that. Okay. We're going to keep hold of you because soon we're going to be able to do two of those. Now you're going to be worth a bit of money to sell. We've got another compound crossbow here. Now we'll take that. We'll scrap those in a minute. Working stiff. Oh. More lockpicks and two more motion sensors. Now, we had to use some of those last night. So, that's good to replenish what we had down there. Medical supplies. First aid bandage is always a good one. Okay, tier six. Not really anything overly good. Right, okay. Not bad. Six o'clock. Do we have time to get off to that... Oh, we've got two more coffins down here to go and check as well. Never checked you. I don't think we have that book, so we haven't found anything in the coffins. Backpack. BDU top there. Anything in you? No. And these two coffins here. No, I don't think we've got time to do that buried treasure. So let's just see if there's one more POI. There's going to be a bloody bird around here somewhere. Is it you? Yeah, it was probably you causing me all those issues. Right, now I've cancelled that quest which we had already done and we've got loads of these that we haven't actually done yet so these ones here are those little notes that you get just in case you didn't know this one's quite a difficult one because it's the army zombies the dishonorable discharge so let's get ourselves reset up now what you can do is set these and then just jump on your bike and bugger off and then next time you kill a load of the army zombies then you'll complete the quest but we're just going to stand here and we're going to do it now so obviously they are all sprinting i've got mr t there and they come from every direction and you make a complete hash of it like that get on green tea and there you go as easy as that usually you've got to kill three of these little monkeys and then next time you go to the trader they'll give you some xp and some dukes for doing it so sometimes i just go and i set up where's my bike on i go and get those set and going now like i said i did cancel that quest but i got no idea which trader that came from it'll be one of the ones over here no doubt but i don't know which one and i can't be asked to go around and actually double check so that's where i'm actually going to leave you for today so i'm going to head myself back up there we need to obviously finish that base tomorrow now let me know guys down in the comments do you think i should try and make the pit and not obviously i i don't think i'm gonna have time to fill it full of concrete and do all of that but i could just make the pit anyway because i don't think the grenades do anything to to the the dirt anyway so they might have a little dig and if anything it'll just make less digging for me but if we do do that it does mean tomorrow will obviously consist i say tomorrow monday will consist of the horde and quite a bit of building so you guys let me know you've got the weekend to let me know if you are around on Sunday, please make sure you come and join us on Sunday night for the stream or Sunday morning, depending on whereabouts you are watching this. That'd be really cool to see you over there. Even if you can't do the whole stream, just pop along. Like I say, if you want to get involved in actually playing any of the streams, just 
pop along, join our Discord. We've got a whole section there about what we're doing when we're playing and things like that. So that will be all good. And also, please have a please take the time and see if you would like to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We're just under 2,000 subs. I think we've got. 10 or 15 to go by the time this video goes out something really yeah only a few to hit that 2000 number um the way the youtube algorithm works they always favor the bigger channel so please consider subscribing if you haven't already and you're enjoying the content that's going to be everything from me today guys i will catch you guys in the next episode ready for the horde night so take it easy and i'll see you later